Hey everyone, it's me again, Brittany, and I'm here today with kind of a different video. I did this for October where I kind of showed you the stuff that I bought for Halloween, and I also did an unboxing, and I thought it would be pretty fun to do that for Christmas. I didn't buy that that many things, but I feel like the things that I did get are very like key pieces, things that I'll be able to keep for a long time, so I'm really excited to show that to you guys. But I'm also doing a really, really cool Fae Crate unboxing. Not only is this the November Fae Crate, which is the last one that I will be getting, which I'm really sad about, but I'm also really excited to see what's going to be inside. But I'm also doing the Wicked Nothings unboxing. And this is their mini hangover kit. I'm really excited about that one because I actually had emailed them just asking if there was like any way that I could purchase like the dust jacket since I had the dust jackets for the previous two books and I had missed out on buying the mini hangover kit and they were kind enough to just send me the entire thing. I have already opened it because I didn't realize they'd be sending me the whole hangover kit. I thought they were just sending me the dust jacket. So I'm really, really, really hyped about that and I definitely wanted to show it with you guys and have some fun. And I also thought it would be cute to just do this with my like Christmas tree in the background. That way we could get some Christmas feels. We're gonna start with the regular box from November and then we'll, we'll go from there. And I'll be showing you my Christmas hauls at the end, just in case you do want to skip to that part. I will leave a timestamp right here, but I would stick around for it all. I think it's all going to be pretty cool. So let's see what's inside. The theme for the November box is going to be Here We Go Again. And the spoiler card just has like a really cool Alice in Wonderland Mad Hatter vibe going with it. So I'm already really into that. Oh my gosh, wait. The guy has like tattoos, kind of like Rowan does, so I thought for a minute that it was. Oh my goodness, <gasps> what is this? This is so freaking fancy. It's like a gold foiled leather journal and it says Peter Pan. Oh my gosh, wait, it's not a journal. <gasps> it's the actual book, but like a little travel size. That's really freaking cool. I'm obsessed with this. It has a little bookmark. It has Fake Crate exclusive on the back. This is just so freaking cool. I haven't read Peter Pan either and I don't own an edition of it, so this is amazing. And then we got actually a little magnetic bookmark with the art from the spoiler card, so that's really cool. And, oh my gosh, we got like a little notepad, like the kind that you put on your desk, and the quote is, a sword is never a killer, it is a tool in the killer's hand. And it has like bullet points for lists. I love making lists, so I can never have too many of these notepads. I think this is actually the card for what the book is gonna be, and it says, stories are not nails to be driven, they are home tapestries to be woven. And it has the letter from the author on the back. And we got their little postcard that comes in all the boxes, and it says, let's hope you didn't leave your mojo in your other pants. I don't know who these characters are here. Actually, let me pick up this. So the notepad was Raven Cycle themed. Oh, this is a lifelike Polaroid from Jay Kristoff's book. I haven't read that yet, but I do own it and I have been planning to read it. And then the Peter Pan leather pocket edition. The cover was made by Verge of Wisteria. Oh, oh my gosh. I know what the book is and I'm so glad about something. All right, let's just show you the book because it's what comes up next. The Guinevere Deception by Kirsten White. This cover looks different, right? It's very golden and metallic. I love this. I am really happy because this was one of the options for the book of the month box this month or last month and I didn't get the Guinevere Deception but I really wanted to. I ended up getting a different book and now I'm really happy I did because obviously I just got the Guinevere Deception in the Fake Crate. So this is actually Kirsten White's new book and I'm really excited about it. Let's kind of read you what's going on. Princess Guinevere has come to Camelot to wed a stranger, the charismatic King Arthur. With magic clawing at the kingdom's borders, the great wizard Merlin conjured a solution. Send in Guinevere to be Arthur's wife and his protector from those who want to see the young king's idyllic city fail. The catch, Guinevere's real name and her true identity is a secret. She is a changeling, a girl who has given up everything to protect Camelot. To keep Arthur safe, Guinevere must navigate a court in which the old, including Arthur's own family, demand that things continue as they have been, and the new, those drawn by the dream of Camelot, fight for a better way to live. And always, in the green hearts of forests and the black depths of lakes, magic lies in wait to reclaim the land. Arthur's knights believe they are strong enough to face any threat, but Guinevere knows it will take more than swords to keep Camelot free. Deadly jousts dupli duplicitous. <laughs> Knights and forbidden romances are nothing compared to the greatest threat of all, the girl with the long knotted black hair riding on horseback through the dark woods towards Arthur. Because when your whole existence is a lie, how can you even trust yourself? <gasps> that sounds amazing! 
I've always loved the like oh that's so freaking cool this looks so freaking cool but I've always loved the like legend of King Arthur and Merlin and all that good stuff so I can't wait to see how Kirsten White has reimagined this story I'm so freaking excited that we got this book in the box because I was really excited about this book and then we did get a little signature plate and now there's the rest of the stuff that was under the book so there was more in the box I just wanted to look at the book first. So we have this cute little pen and it says, I'm calling you a storyteller. Oh, I like that. Oh, oh, it's one of those like twisty click pens. I like that. And the pen is a My Lady Jane pen. So love that. And let's grab this big old thing because I'm very curious. What is it? Bakery always has just like the most out of the box kinds of items in it. And I really love them for that. Okay, it organizes something. It says, you didn't honestly believe I'd show up unprepared, did you? I love that. <laughs> Does it like fold together and then... I feel like it's like some kind of car organizer thing. Let's, let's look. Stocking Jack the Ripper hanging organizer. Oh, okay. So I think you like put this through like maybe a hanger, maybe? And, but I don't know what you'd keep in here. Oh, maybe like stationary. So like pens and like notepads. I don't know. Do you guys know what this is for? I feel like that's kind of what it is though. I do really like this. I think this part is very fancy. It looks very high quality and it feels nice and thick. So I always need a little bit more of organization. So I can't wait to figure out what that's for so I can put it to use. And let's look lastly at the coin. So I'm really excited. The coins are like my favorite part of their boxes. Apparently it was only something they were doing for this year though. So I can't wait to see what they end up doing next year. It's behold the sword of power. <gasps> It's a King Arthur collector coin. All right, and I do believe that that is it. All right, and that was it for the box, my last fake crate box, how sad. So now we're just gonna do a quick unboxing of their mini hangover kit. Again, I actually already did open this, so I know what's inside, but you know, I still wanted to show you guys because I can't believe they sent me the whole thing. Like, that's really nice. So first, the thing that I was most excited about is the book cover for the third book for Queen of Nothing. Look how freaking stunning. I'm so happy they gave this to me because I would have been very sad if I didn't have this to match my other two. I love these. I'm going to be using these more as like posters on the wall because I just think they're so freaking stunning. Like this is so freaking pretty. I'm so, f I'm so happy. I'm so, so happy. So Thank you, Fake Crate. And then let's do their cute little Jude. They do a lot of these dolls for their crates, for their hangover crates. Well, they do a doll every single hangover crate. And this time we got Jude with her little horns. And I actually have Cardin. Someone was saying it's not Cardon, and I've been saying it Cardon in my head. So I have Cardin for Jude because I got him in the last hangover crate that they made. So I'm so glad they're gonna be able to match now and sit next to each other. Her head feels like bigger than the previous ones, but I'm actually totally okay with it. It makes her very cute. And we got an amazing enamel pin, a little acorn, and it has a crown inside and also some kind of thorn wrapping its way around the throne. I just think it's very, very pretty and I'm very excited about this and hanging it up on my pin flag. And then the last thing that came in the little hangover, the mini hangover crate, was just the coin and I am so happy that they gave me the full thing again because this coin is stunning. It just has a tree with a crown over it, we have a stag, we've just, it's just, it's so and pretty. All right, and that's it for my last Fake Crate unboxings. So thank you so much again to Fake Crate for having sent me your boxes for the past few months. As per usual, I do leave my discount code for you guys down in the description and a link if you want to go purchase anything from Fake Crate. So yeah, I'm pretty sure that'll stay the same whether I receive their boxes or not. So you can always check that out. I'll just leave that in my description bar. But now we're gonna get into my holiday stuff. I'm so excited. So we're gonna go in the order that I got it in. Again, I didn't get a ton of stuff, but I just really like the stuff I got. So let's do it. So first let's do the stuff that I got from Target because I feel like it's my smallest stuff. So I would like to start with it, duh. I got all of this actually in their $5 aisle, like the one that they have when you first walk into the store. Because besides that, I just didn't wanna spend too much money on Christmas this year. I am moving, it just makes no sense to buy a ton of decorations. Oh, first I should tell you, I wanted my theme, probably for all of my Christmases, because that's 
kind of the goal right now to always be sort of like a winter wonderland theme. I was going for very frozen vibes. I want blue, silver, and white, and snowflakes everywhere. So that's kind of what I was thinking when I bought all this stuff. So the first thing I got, again, is this candle, and it has little snowflakes all the way around. It definitely gave me frozen vibes. And then the next few things I got were these cute little trees. I definitely wanted to get more of these, but for right now, I just got a nice, like, navy blue sparkly one, a white sparkly one, and this tall silver one. So I'm really happy with these. They look so dorky, but I feel like they look so great as just like a little decoration piece. So I'm very happy. I put like, I put them like this. So yeah, my little sparkle trees. And then the last thing that I got from Target was just this little sign and it says made with love, always fresh, gingerbread baking co, bread cake, cookies, cupcakes, and it's just in this mint frame. I just thought it was very cutesy. It would look good in the kitchen. And now I kind of want to do the stuff I got from Bath and Body Works because it's exciting. So there's a Bath and Body Works in my mall. So I happened to like pop into there while I was on one of my breaks and I just saw all this wintry goodness and they were having sales. So I just couldn't, I couldn't stop myself. The first two things I got were actually little wall plugs with snowflakes on them and I bought the, the juice stuff that goes with it, obviously, because I didn't have any from Bath & Body Works, and they're just these two different snowflakes. I think they look so cute, and they're gonna smell so good. Oh no, oh no, one of them opened. And I have juice all over my hand. There are worse things, I guess, than to smell like this. Well, now I know to always keep them standing. And then I got these two little magnetic snowflakes these go on top of the lids for candles and then they're strong enough magnets to just pop off the metal lid of the candle and i figured even if i didn't have candles i would be able to put these on my fridge and i got one that's like a beautiful iridescent kind of snowflake and another one that's a blue and i love them i was really going back and forth on getting this because i was like i feel like this is a splurge item like i don't really need it but then I saw someone buying it and it was the last one and I was like, oh no, I actually did want that. And they happened to have one in the back for me. So, well, it wasn't for me, you know, it was for whoever wanted to buy it. It's just this little candle holder. I've wanted actually these candle holders for a while, like just ones that I can use year round, not just for Christmas. But this one has little snowflakes all the way around. I think it's just so stunning and pretty and very, I don't know classic. And then I didn't think at the time that I needed candles. I was like, I always have candles at home, but I had burnt through all my Bath and Body Works ones like the next day. So I went back and they were still having a bunch of sales. So I got a couple of candles. I got this one specifically. I wanted a blue one to put into this. That way it could show through nicely. And this is just their grateful candle. And then it had this cool snowflake lid. Well, it didn't. There was another one that had this snowflake lid. So I switched you know, it's that's allowed. So I got the really nice lid and it smells okay. Honestly, I it's not the worst smell, but I mostly got it for the color and all the other ones that were blue were more of like cologne smells instead of being warm smells and I wanted a warm smell. And then like, if you wanted to know what it looks like, that's what it looks like. Isn't that nice? And then you just put the lid on and to top it off, isn't that cool? And then the, see, it just pulls it off. <laughs> it's so freaking cool, right? I, I don't know. I definitely just got too excited when I saw all that. And then I did get one more candle from Bath and Body Works and this one is just the Santa's Workshop candle. This one smells amazing and it had this cool like frosted lid. It's sugared snickerdoodle and it just smells awesome, so. We'll just leave that there. All right, and now the stuff that I might be most excited for, just like general home decorations. So let's go with the first thing that I found. I got all of this from Amazon, so there's that. But this is like a tablecloth, and <laughs> I'm gonna put it, because I have a circle table, so it's not supposed to like reach all the way around. I'm gonna, I mean, you'll see a Christmas decoration video coming to you soon. But it just has this cute little like frosty look, and it's beautiful, it's like a dark, blue with snowflakes and a little town and I just thought this would work 
perfectly with my theme. So we'll just like leave that there for a minute. The stuff that I might be most excited about, I bought a bunch of pillows for Halloween, if you guys remember, and I didn't want to just get rid of the pillows. Like I wanted to start instead just buying pillow covers and switching them out depending on the season. So this one, it doesn't fit perfectly. Apparently the pillows that I got were smaller, but now I know for next time, but I got pillow covers to fit over them and they're little snowflakes. <laughs> Aren't these awesome? Like they are just awesome. I'm so happy with them. It's a little bit big, but like you can't tell that much so I don't mind and I'm just really happy. And then I actually went ahead and bought actual pillows, like normal throw pillows because I wanted to get pillowcases that would work with this theme but that would also work just in general for my life. And I got these like furry, like very soft pillow covers for them. There are bluish kind of grayish white. I think it's light gray actually. And I got 20 by 20 pillows and they're so soft. Like the ones that I got are like squished to the max. So I'm really happy with how these ones look because they work great for this theme, but they're also going to work great for like my life. Oh gosh. I almost dropped everything. <laughs> and the last pillow cover I got was for the kind of weird looking Halloween one that I had on my black chair in my reading room. And I got it this pillow cover. I love it. It's like a black and gray silver ombre and it just looks so cool. It barely fit, honestly, this one's firm, but it just looks really nice. And again, it really works for like Winter Wonderland, but it's gonna work for life. So I'm really happy with that. And that's actually it. Those are all the things that I got. <laughs> so I told you it wasn't a ton, but I feel like they're key pieces. So they work really well with what I wanted to do. And I'll just keep adding on to them, I guess, when Christmases come by. So I'm happy. That's it. Those are all the things that I wanted to show you today, guys. So yeah, like I said, my favorite stuff is going to be in the description. I'm not really going to tag all the stuff I got because I feel like it's going to be pretty hard to find again. Just know that I got the pillow stuff, like the home decor stuff from Amazon, the Bath and Body Works stuff from Bath and Body Works, and then the Target stuff from Target. So yeah, that's going to be it for this video today, guys. Thank you so, so much for watching, and I hope you're having a lovely holiday season and that you enjoy this kind of holiday-themed video. And I will see you in my next one. Goodbye!